If you're in the market for a new graphics card, you may want to be looking at the new Intel Arc GPUs. These cards are getting easier to recommend with each driver update. Today, I'll show you how the Intel Arc A770 16 gigabyte version performs at 1440p gaming and what my overall thoughts are. I've been using this card as my daily driver for about a month now, and it's not bad at all. I'm using a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigabytes of RAM in my system. There have been some driver issues, but nothing that made it impossible to use. You can find this card on Newegg for $349 at the time of recording, and it usually comes with some free software. Let me know in the comments if you've been looking at getting an A770 at that price point. When I got mine, Modern Warfare 2 came with it for free, so let's start there. I left the presets at the recommended settings the game loads with and turned off upscaling so we could get a look at how the card handles 1440p natively. I did expand the field of view to 105. Performance was great. The A770 pumped out a 79 FPS average with 1% lows of 66. I was pretty happy with this, but I also wanted to see what it could do with upscaling enabled. After turning on upscaling, the A770 was able to hit 99 FPS average and 1% lows of 82. I don't see a big difference in quality between native and upscaling. In Cyberpunk 2077, this card also did great at 1440p. I've been playing the campaign for the first time as I make videos testing cards, and I thought this A770 brought smooth gameplay. I played at high settings and only turned off upscaling so we get native performance. I was pretty happy with a 52 FPS average and 1% lows of 30. You could definitely enable upscaling for even better performance. Remember those bugs I talked about? Occasionally the drivers save gameplay recordings in unplayable formats, so I don't have footage for my last two tests. Luckily, Riva Tuner saved the benchmarks for me, so I've thrown those up over some stock footage of Red Dead Redemption 2 and Rocket League since I'm traveling right now and can't re-record the footage. In Red Dead Redemption 2, I saw a nice 69 FPS average with 1% lows of 50. Performance definitely dipped in the more populated areas, but overall, it was a great experience. The A770 absolutely destroyed Rocket League at 1440p, maintaining a 239 FPS average and 1% lows of 128. I got a lot of requests to test Minecraft, but I actually don't own Minecraft. Let me know if you'd like me to purchase Minecraft and test it on the A770 down below. Overall, I think I'll keep the A770 as my daily driver for a while. It offers great 1440p performance and only has a few glitches. I'm running it with a dual monitor setup and sometimes when the screens go to sleep, only one will turn back on when I wake it up. I have to unplug the display port cable to get it to turn back on. So that's odd. If you've got the A770 already, let me know what driver issues you've experienced. If you're looking for good performance at a good price, I think the A770 is a good fit. That is if you are willing to support a third competitor in the GPU market and are okay dealing with a few driver glitches. I left a link to the card below if you are interested in checking it out for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, you may like my review of another budget GPU. Check it out.